Astorville Bethel Lutheran Church, and we are located in Green Valley. Today is a Thursday. It's the 25th of March. Please pray with me. Dear Jesus, we had always asked your blessing upon our hopes and dreams. Unite our prayers as we not only pray for ourselves, but for many throughout the world who stand in need of you. We thank you for your great love, and we always pray in your name. Amen. Our reading is from the book of Philippians, the second chapter, verses 1 through 11. So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any incentive of love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility count others better than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of a man. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Here ends our reading. When we consider the celebration of Holy Week and how it approaches us, there is so much about Holy Week and all it involves that becomes new to us each year when we celebrate, and yet there is that which to us is often so much founded upon tradition, founded upon that which we know well. I recall growing up in the church being very, very young, and sitting next to my father, who always sang in a very deep voice, and if you'll permit me, there was a verse that you would sing in Lent. It went like this. Christ hath humbled himself and become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And there was that last note, very low, that my dad always hit. And I remember sitting in the pew next to him, I would always grab my attention. Only he even sang that note even lower than I sang it. It was just incredible. and It, it, was, it, it shook me as a young boy. And it grabbed my attention of, of the meaning of this thing we called Lent. I knew that it was something important. I didn't know quite what, but I knew it was important something to listen to, something to be aware of. And as we come to the close of Lent, as we come closer to Holy Week, I guess my thought is that we don't let it slip by too quickly, that we don't let this meaning escape us, and that we do realize that the preciousness which is ours, this, this gift, of realizing what Christ has done for us. It is something that is beyond our thinking, something which escapes the grasp of our small minds too easily. But Christ has died for us. Christ has died for you. He humbled himself even to the point of death on a cross, that you might have full life and forgiveness. 
we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God bless you today and in your many tomorrows. Amen. All glory, honor, and praise, majesty, kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own, his anthem praise. Worship His majesty. majesty, unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, majesty. kingdom authority, authority flows from His throne unto His own. Now glorified King of all kings